Google Plus YouTube comments, the end of the world, or an actual usable feature. That's what we're talking about in this episode. YouTube, and by extension Google, has been taking a lot of flack over the past few months over the integration of Google Plus in the YouTube comments system. Now, a lot of people are very upset about this, and understandably so, it's a major change. But it's not the end of the world, and here's why. It allows commenters to actually provide subtext in the text of their comment. It also brings back a much requested feature, the video response. In this video, we're gonna show you some of the more useful things you can do with YouTube comments. YouTube comments are usually known for being rather vile and kind of the armpit of society. What Google Plus allows us to do is to filter through these in a meaningful way. One of the ways that it allows us to do this is with text formatting. We can bold specific types of words to emphasize the text. You can do that by simply placing stars on either side of your text. You can also put a word in italics simply by placing slashes on either side of the word. You can cross through words by adding hyphens to either side. This comes in handy with subtext or sarcasm on the platform, where before we really had to kind of guess whether someone was being sarcastic or not. Little known fact, you can actually add photos, videos, and links to your YouTube comments by simply dragging and dropping them from your computer to the comments. A lot of people don't understand circles in the way that they work. Basically, it's a way of fragmenting the community that follows you or the community that you follow. So, for instance, let's say you wanted to share a post publicly, but maybe not with your parents. You would just share that with every circle other than the one that says parents, which should come in handy for quite a few of us. You know, the, the weekends are for us. For people like me, and I'm guessing you, that maintain several different types of communities, it comes in handy because you can place people in different circles depending on their interests. So for instance, when I share this video, I'm not sharing it with the people that I routinely talk to about cat videos. Don't judge me. You can prevent people from sharing the content you post on YouTube simply by checking a box or setting it in your default settings. All of this plus one stuff is basically the equivalent of a thumbs up. So keep that in mind when you're on the platform, that a plus one and a thumbs up is pretty much the equivalent of a Facebook like, or a Twitter favorite. And last but not least, the most relevant thing to most of us YouTubers is the fact that you can still use this system to link your videos and create a video response. Simply by pasting the URL of your video in any comment, it will automatically change that URL into the title of the video, allowing you to do something we haven't been able to do on YouTube in some time. Create a video response and help people find your content as long as it's relevant. There's a lot more fine-grained control as far as what kind of content you will and will not allow people to comment on your videos with, and we'll talk about that in a future video. But for now, I think we've covered this topic pretty well. If you have anything else to add, let us know in the comments section down below. Till next time, I'm Anthony with School. Like, subscribe, comments please. Yeah, so we still don't have our end cards yet, so if you click over here, you're gonna get a video talking about protecting yourself from getting your channel taken down. If you click over here, you're going to get a video about using your real name on Google Plus and, of course, YouTube. We'll, we'll get that art as soon as we can. Thanks! Like, subscribe, comments, please.